These are the main supplements that I use for performance, strength, staying motivated, muscle growth, as well as recovery. And the best part is most of them are free and none of them have any of the health risks that come with using performance enhancing drugs. Create cool things. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, friends. It's great to see you here. If you didn't know, my name is Brian. And if you have a moment, that'd be great if you hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, maybe even left something nice in the comments below. So as most of you know, I don't take and I've never used performance enhancing drugs, things like steroids or human growth hormone, testosterone replacement therapy, I've never done any of that. But do I use any supplements to get amazing workouts or just for better mental performance? Well, yes, I do. So let's, uh, let's discuss those. This one's huge and should be a baseline for anyone who's trying to get amazing physical or mental performance. Hydration. When I first wake up in the mornings, one of the first things I do is drink at least eight ounces, even up to 16 ounces of water. But also what I do is replenish electrolytes. So there's a lot of different electrolyte supplements that you can buy. You guys know that I like Element, but replenishing your electrolytes is absolutely critical to achieve incredible performance, both in the gym as well as just whatever else you're doing with your day. One of the main things I do is make sure I try and hit my potassium goals. So again, I do use some electrolyte supplements, but fresh canned tomatoes have a ton of potassium without a bunch of calories. And also you can get a pretty good amount of potassium through other nuts as well as other fruits and vegetables. Now, speaking of fruits and vegetables, what I also eat about a cup of every single day are raw blueberries. And my goodness, it just absolutely makes my mental acuity very, very sharp. And blueberries are also very rich in antioxidants. There's a ton of health benefits to blueberries. They're considered like a superfood. Any kind of berry, but a lot of the darker berries are just very good for you. And they have really helped my performance both in the gym, but also just the mental performance quite a bit. Now, if I'm looking to get a freaking insane workout, one of the things I do is actually eat just a few more carbs. Now your body is going to use carbs as a fuel when you're doing physical activity. And one of the things I like to do is if I know that the next day I want to get an insane workout. What I'm going to do the night before is maybe add anywhere from 50 to 70 extra grams of carbohydrates into my dinner or after dinner snack. This will fuel my strength training workout the next morning in incredible ways. Now, as you might already guess, before my workouts, I do supplement with caffeine. And right now I currently don't even take any pre-workout supplements. I have tried in the past the sebum pre-workout. I'm currently not using that. So typically before a workout, I'll drink like a cup of coffee coffee or like a no sugar energy drink. One of these things will have anywhere between 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine. And that gives me all the mental and physical boost that I need to get an insane workout in. And pairing that with a decent amount of carbs from the night before, as well as a good night's sleep and staying properly hydrated, hitting those electrolytes. If all of those boxes are checked, the performance in those workouts is going to be amazing. Having more strength means you can push more weight, which means you get a better workout and ultimately you're gonna see better and quicker results. We all want this, right? Well, I'm actually excited to share with you that I have just recently started supplementing with creatine. Now, before we dive into the benefits of supplementing with creatine, I do want to take a quick moment and say a big thanks to Create for sponsoring this video. And if you didn't know, Create is a pure creatine monohydrate gummy that's actually vegan, non-GMO, as well as reduced sugar. And here's the thing with creatine. It's probably one of the most well-researched and safest supplements that you can actually take. Now, the thing is, there's definitely a lot of weird stigmas around creatine. Even for me personally, I always associated creatine with like, you're just some big, massive, jacked dude. So of course you're supplementing creatine along with all of your steroids and whatever else. But this is actually not the case. And Create is actually looking to try and break a lot of these stigmas because whether or not you're super into to fitness, creatine is quite possibly a very beneficial supplement for you regardless of your lifestyle. So let's quickly go through and see, well, if I did supplement with creatine, what benefits I'm gonna get out of it? Check this out here, it's pretty amazing. So first of all, you're gonna see a 10 to 15% increase in strength. Additionally, it's gonna improve your body composition. So obviously if you want more muscle and less fat, supplementing with creatine is gonna help you achieve this goal. And if you supplement it the correct way, you also won't gain a bunch of 
of extra water weight, which is a big thing with creatine, which is why dosage is very important. And I'll get into that here in just a second. Additionally, if you supplement with creatine, you're going to see improved muscle recovery. So this means you're going to be less sore. You're going to recover faster, and then you can hit those muscle groups again, which is going to give you those quicker, faster, better results. Additionally, there is research that indicates that supplementing with creatine actually comes with cognitive benefits as well. Research has found that creatine can improve memory, improve cognitive function, and may even help fight symptoms of anxiety and depression. So okay, Brian, creatine sounds great, but what about these create gummies? Well, each gummy is one gram or a thousand milligrams of creatine, and the recommended dosage is simply three to five gummies a day. Now, if you're simply just trying to maintain a solid baseline of supplementing with creatine, getting some of the benefits out of it, you can supplement with two to three gummies a day and you'll be just fine. Now, if you want to see a little bit more of those benefits and you're looking to grow a little bit more muscle, then you might want to be up to five gummies a day and you can see a little bit more of those benefits. And that's simply it. So these create gummies make it very easy to supplement that creatine. I've personally been taking five create gummies a day for a couple weeks now and all of the benefits of creatine I've been personally experiencing. One of the best things is the muscle soreness, especially when I train legs as I actually just did a couple days ago. I have experienced way less muscle soreness, which is fantastic. So I would highly recommend trying the create gummies. And if you're interested in trying these gummies, which by the way, they're also very delicious, head over to trycreate.co slash Brian Adam C and use the promo code Brian Adam C to get 20% off your first order. And by the way, yeah, creates the sponsor of this video. But even if they weren't, I would for sure be recommending creatine. And being that it doesn't come with any adverse side effects or health risks, it's almost a no brainer. We're all looking for that daily motivation. You wake up out of bed and you're like, dude, really? Another day? Another day? How many days are there? But what helps us get through the day and crush our goals is feeling motivated to go do stuff. So as I've already discussed with performance, caffeine can be very motivating. And as soon as I have caffeine, I'm like, dude, let's go freaking crush some workouts and get a bunch of stuff done. Additionally, for me, one of the most motivating things that I could probably ever find is music. And you might be like, really, dude, music? But yes, find music that motivates you, whether it's freaking classic rock, today's top hits, rap music, whatever it is. I personally like Deep House and Progressive House. I like to listen to like extended mixes that are like an hour of just beats. You probably would find it very repetitive and boring, or maybe not. But this kind of music is very, very, very motivating for me. It also helps me on the mental side of things because a lot of this music isn't super lyric driven. Driven, so when I'm just focusing on certain tasks, there's still like a beat and melodic stuff that keeps me feeling motivated without it being super distracting. Also, you already know this about me, but I love to use the Apple Watch and the Apple Watch is incredibly motivating. It gives me metrics and guidelines for goals I need to hit. I've spoken at length about the Apple Watch and it's easily the most motivating thing every single day that keeps me focused and on track. If it's not an Apple Watch for you, if you have the money and you're able to invest in some kind of fitness tracker, it really is probably one of the most game changing aspects of staying dialed in. Additionally, I love to get vitamin D from the sun and believe it or not, vitamin D is one of the most motivating things that you can actually supplement with. Obviously, if you're just walking outside, you can get it for free and it's amazing. There's plenty of research on vitamin D, but one of the biggest things that you can get out of vitamin D is it can reduce anxiety and depression. And ultimately what this does is boost your mood. And when your mood is boosted, I would be willing to bet you're feeling very motivated. Additionally, I actually supplement with fiber every single day. My protein intake is quite high and sometimes I can't quite get all of those fruits and vegetables I'd like to get in every single day. So I do make sure I'm supplementing with a little bit of fiber to keep things regular, if you know what I mean. I've personally been supplementing with something called sun fiber. It tastes like nothing. I can just just throw it into a protein shake or drink it straight up however I want. But hear me on this one. You are way less motivated when things aren't moving. How much better do you feel when the whole digestive system, especially that last piece of it, has itself all sorted out and things are flowing the way they need to be? 
what about muscle growth? Well, one of the biggest things and most free things is patience. Muscle growth takes time. Also, you have to just simply consider your genetics. You're going to hit a limit on how much muscle you can ideally put on. Again, considering that you're not on any performance enhancing drugs or steroids. Beyond that, I do use whey protein. I really love the whey protein by the brand Animal. The flavor brownie batter is just freaking amazing. I have a protein shake pretty much every single day of the week. Hitting your protein goals is the best way to build muscle naturally and make sure you're hitting around one gram of protein per pound of body weight and hit the strength training sessions nice and hard. Also, as I've already discussed, if you want some muscle growth, supplement with creatine because that is researched and a great supplement to use to see more muscle growth in a shorter amount of time. Try those Create gummies. They're actually pretty freaking amazing. They're linked in the description. Code Brian Adam C to get 20% off. We're gonna get into some supplements specifically within this, but the most important thing you can do for recovery that really costs you nothing is getting good sleep. This is probably the most important thing that you could focus on when it comes to performance, strength, motivation, muscle growth. Have you ever gotten like four hours of sleep and just tried to be an active member of society? As opposed to getting a solid seven, eight, nine hour nights worth of sleep, life is completely different. Also, if you're getting good sleep, this is the primary time that your body is able to burn fat stores. So here's a few things that I do to get some really good sleep. So one of the main things is making sure I'm not dieting too hard. If you're not eating enough food over a long period of time, if you're in too steep of a calorie deficit, this is going to put your body eventually in like a starvation mode, which will really affect the quality of your sleep. Believe me, I've been down this road and experienced this. And if you're in too steep of a calorie deficit, it will really mess up your sleep. Also, this is why I hardly ever drink alcohol anymore. And if I am going to have a couple of drinks, I'm going to make sure those are spaced out well before I'm about to fall asleep. So I would say if you're going to have a couple of drinks, make your last drink at least three to four hours before you're going to bed. Back before when I used to drink a lot, my sleep was absolute trash. If you've ever had a night of heavy drinking, you'll notice you're like wide awake at like two, three, four in the morning. You'll just be up for a few hours, not to mention all the other health risks that come with drinking in excess. One thing to perfect your sleep is you must know that your sleep demands a routine. It wants some type of sleep schedule. So the more you can lock into like, this is about when I fall asleep every night. This is about when I wake up every single morning, the better off you're going to be because that routine is going to set these timers and body clocks to allow for you to fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, and then wake up feeling more refreshed. Personally, I usually fall asleep sleep between 10 and 11 and I try to be up between like 6 and 7 in the morning. Additionally, I try not to drink any caffeine after 12 noon and this really helps make sure that I don't have any type of caffeine running through me when I'm just trying to turn all the systems off and pass out for the night. Also, I do actually like to supplement with magnesium. So I'll take usually between 200 and 400 milligrams of magnesium before I go to bed at night and it helps me get really good sleep. Well, those are all the supplements that I use and a lot of them are free and none of them are going to create some crazy health risks for you. So I hope this video helped you out. Definitely check out those Create Gummies. I've been on these for a little bit now and they have actually really, really made a massive improvement in my workouts, my strength, my recovery. So they're linked below. Use that promo code Brian Adam C and you can get 20% off your first order. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and constantly showing me so much support. It really, really does mean the world. I've got a ton more videos coming your way. So make sure you hit the like button. Stay subscribed to the channel. I mean, I why would you unsubscribe? That's not very nice. See you on the next video. Peace. Let's do it. Welcome back to welcome back to the YouTube channel. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, friends. It's great to see you here. If you had a moment, definitely uh, if you had a moment, that would be if you had a moment, that would be amazing. If you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's lots of fun stuff happening here. Um, so you're definitely going to want to subscribe. Wow, that sucked. <clears throat> On any given day, I'm looking to get incredible important. Wow. What, what, what was that? Let's talk about freaking strength. <clears throat> I, I mean, I, you, you get it. You get it. You need sleep. So do it. Go, go to bed right now. Maybe this video is long and boring enough for you to just doze off right now. 
perfect. This, this chair makes the weirdest noises. <clears throat> These are the main supplements that I use for performance, strength, staying motiv staying motivated, staying motivated. <clears throat> wow. Wow, I suck. <laughs>